Welcome to another video by Dump Data. In this video, I'll walk you through the GA4 page snapshot um, report. Actually, what this report does is um, it gives you quick information about any web page um, on your website. It might be a group of web pages or just a particular web page, right? So um, basically, what you are currently right now is this tab here is used to know the number of web pages that you are currently reporting for. So you can see we have about um, 10,000 web pages that we have been reporting on for this particular um, data set here. So you can see there is a quick scorecard here, which is the page views, the sessions, the user actions, which is like number of event interactions on the site, the total users, the conversion on page, and their trend. So not just the number, but also their trend. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the number of um, um, sessions that started on the, those pages, right? And the number of page web pages per user. Then also like the device information, which um, tests can kind of guide you on what inside that particular um, chart you are looking, on, you are looking at is trying to um, provide you with, right? Then if you scroll down a little bit, you also see the forms of technology in terms of OS, not just the number of page views to those particular pages, but also the percentage that that particular OS is accounting for. Same with the screen resolution and also with the browser. And if you scroll down a little bit, you see things like the user interactions. Conversion events here have a green check mark, and why non conversion events have a red kind of um, dash uh, mark, then we'll number of event count. Then by the side, you also see things like bounce rate, engagement rate, both in the numbers and also in their trends. Same with the engage sessions and bounce sessions. And for this particular chart, it's just to give you an insight on that particular page, number of page view in relation in comparison to scroll depth that's happening on that particular page. You can make it of this to kind of see how people consume the content on that particular page, right? Like the exposure of the content on that particular page. The user gets to see the, the, um, all of the content on that particular page, right? And also, these are like the channel and traffic attribution. Um, the power of this um, report, of this Lucas Studio dashboard, remember, you can always make it of this filter here to do advanced stuff, if you want to do advanced stuff. Um, is when you come in here right now, unless I guess what I just want to see for this particular um, page, right? If I click on it right now only, um, it should be the only one that should be selected here right now. It's going to tell me selected pages, right? You see it, it's the only one selected right now. And then you can see right now that this is the only one selected right now. For this particular page, we have about 46,000 page views, sessions, events that happen on this particular page, the total users, the conversion on the page, which is like the um, conversion that happened on this page. And if you scroll down a little bit, you see the number of times this page has been a landing page. It's about a thousand plus times that's been a landing page. And we can see that we have desktop being um, having the large number of page views than any other device type, right? So you can see right now. Uh, desktop is accounting for 7.4% of the page views on that particular page. Same with the pages per web pages per user, page views per user. You can see the number also. Then also, um, the, we know that Macintosh also accounts for 49% of um, the page views on that particular page. Then we have um, our top 10, the screen resolutions being all this. In the browser also, we have Chrome accounting for 91.64%. Um, of um, the page views on that particular page, right? And also these interactions, we have about um, just first visit is the only um, conversion event that's happening on that page. So you can see that first visit, is the, first visit is the only conversion event on that page. Then we can see that the engagement rate is very low, while the bounce rate is very kind of higher compared to the engagement rate, right? And if you scroll down, we see that people don't really scroll on that page, you have about 31.7% here. Yeah. Um, yeah, here they scroll, but um, it's not that kind of high that we expected. Same as the engage session is very low compared to the bounce sections. Same as the traffic attribution, you can also see a lot of stuffs from this page as channel attribution. So it gives information, quick information about the, any particular web page you want to know on your website. Same as the, um, you can know about a particular group of pages that can add um, more and so you can only know for this and this, right? So you can change the page range and stuff like that. And the page, um, the report overview is 
where you get information about um, about the dashboard, like stuff like configuration information, the purpose of the dashboard, a video tutorial, which is what I'm currently recording right now, and um, um, what is it called? How to kind of find us, how to know more about data through the website where we have free resources, sign up, and YouTube where we have videos that you can watch. Then um, you might run into an issue like this. Let me show you. You might run into an issue like this, um, like a quota limit um, in GA4, something like this, right? You might run into an issue like this. Um, the best thing that you can do is to make use of um, alternatives like an um, analysis canvas or um, mist analysis or um, BigQuery or data slayer or supermetrics to kind of pull your data into a different platform that's not the Luca Studio. Then you can then connect your um, data from this warehouse stuff into Luca Studio. Um, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And um, until then, happy visualizing and happy measuring.